Hello everyone, welcome to Scorched Earth Toys at AnyMoon.com's review of Yamato's 160VF11B toy as seen in Macross Plus. This review is also valid for Yamato's 160VF11C toy, that's the white variant that's seen in Macross 7. This toy does have a gimmick that's pretty particular to Macross 7. You have your opening canopy, which is pretty standard, but it's also a removable cockpit. So if the vehicle was destroyed, this cockpit would eject, and then salvage crews could come pick up the pilot. He might be completely drained of spiritcha, but you'd have to have watched Macross 7 to understand what I'm talking about. So, the toy itself comes with fast packs. Fast packs are extremely simple. There's almost nothing to them at all, but they snap on really tight. There's the back leg fast packs are actually a magnet attachment, and that is pretty much it. See, secure enough. Well, I guess there's a little peg in the front too. So they fit on nice and tight. No worries there. You might knock them off with some handling, but usually that's not the case. It's not like Toynami's MPC VF1 super parts with magnets that barely work at all. Uh, the, the gun that comes with the toy stows nicely in fighter mode. There are integrated landing gears. The landing gears have a gimmick where they turn because the landing gear bay is very shallow. So that was a neat little trick Yamato used to be able to get the integrated landing gears in there. The uh, front landing gear, not much of a trick to it, just falls down. There is no uh, separate tow bar piece, but there is a tow bar molded in. So we just go like that. These guys, oops. And there you have it. Everything conceals nicely. Fighter mode, very clean, very sharp. Obviously it has intake covers that are integrated or removable. But very nice overall. Let's move on to gear walk mode. All right, real quickly, this is gear walk mode. There's only a few things to really note. Uh, number one, I will show off. There's a transformation mechanism that locks the back of the plane in spot in gear walk mode. That slides forward and goes into a slot and now the back will stay steady. So if you put on the super parts, the back isn't going to drip down on you. Um, one negative aspect, the shield pops off real easily during handling. They gave you two little tabs to choose from, goes in the slot in the forearm, but it just never seems to go in as far as it should and just doesn't stay there nice and tight. The gun that comes with the 11B, the 11C has a different one, has a optional top part that gets removed to show the inner detail and it also has a bayonet that pops out. Alright, that's about it. Let's go ahead and move on to gear walk, or Batroid mode. Okay, here's Batroid mode. If you've got the toy transformed successfully, you'll notice the heat shield is actually locked into place. If you didn't transform it successfully, that will not be the case. You can kind of jury-rig it to make it look close, but really you should follow the instructions very carefully and get that locked properly. The chest also locks nice and tight, uh, but that's a very, a very small locking mechanism in there, so uh, it easily pops out if you're playing with the toy. There you go, just popped it out. Um, so what else is there? There's a little line art accuracy trick. This slider here, very stiff slider. Right now there's no nub on this side. There is a nub on that side. And that is because of that slider mechanism. As you can see, the shield falls right off. It's annoying, I'm not gonna put it back on. Head pivots left and right, gun back and forth, shoulders up and down, spin around, but they're going to be limited by the back bar here. So you also have your elbow joint. Oops. So I was talking about earlier with that not incredibly strong lock at the chest. So you have your elbow joint and a swivel joint on the arms. Okay. The hips have a ball joint to them, but they also have this very wide chest structure. So you're going to use your gear walk joint when posing this toy quite a bit. Knees, full range. And then you have your feet. The 
The feet actually have a separate toe mechanism. Uh, it doesn't really come in all that handy, but it's there. And you have the pivot at the knee. Pretty much does it for articulations. You can put the wings out if you want. Totally up to you. Not cooperating entirely right now. There we go. All right. Looks good, obviously, in Batroid mode, but it won't be the most fun toy you own to pose. Won't be the least fun toy you own either, because it does look so good. Uh, overall, a huge improvement over the 172. If you're into transformable VF11 toys, you can't go wrong here. Uh, if you're just looking for the best Valkyrie toy out there, probably isn't this one, but I still highly recommend it. Uh, especially if you can find it on sale, but it never seemed to go on a super big discount. All right, visit anymoon.com. I'll give you line art comparisons and comparisons to other toys. Thank you very much.